Hey, come on in, y'all. We're glad to see you. Your chair's always open. We have a sterling sale for you today. It's a beautiful morning with the barber shop duet. Hi, I'm Marcus Klinger with Klinger Vocal Studio. And I'm Sarah Vincent with Sarah Vincent Virtual Pilates. But on Wednesdays and Saturdays... We are the Barbershop Duo! Hey, come on in! We're so glad you're here. And yes. if you happen to be here during the live premiere, why? Join the chat, it's say hi. Us. We've got an awesome group of folks from all over the world that would love to meet you, the too. And we'd yeah. love to have you be a part of it. And what's our mention today? We have a new razor to our den, everyone. The it's Bison Aluminum! It's a new day, y'all! Mm -hmm. This is our Bison, and I got it because of the color. It's gorgeous. Oh, and everybody was losing their mind. Lines over this in December. They were like, oh, wait, there might be a few new colors coming up and with the new year. Right. Oh, I love this. It's called the Glacier. It's beautiful. It goes from like solid electric blue all the way up to like the silver on the other end. Mm -hmm. It's a three piece razor. Here are the stats for you on the screen. And this is what the base plate looks like. I love this. Thing. I gotta so, say, I've used okay. it a few times. I think you have too. And I the have. angle on this is super fun to kind of play with a little bit. Right. I have shaved with nothing but this from the moment I got it. And if you are a cap writer like me, uh, a little bit a little intimidated by <laughs> the razor. <laughs> but this really encourages you to bring that angle down and mm -hmm. play with feeling that tiny bit of bleed exposure against your face. Because really, sometimes for me, right. uh, these are so well built that I almost forget that I'm holding a razor blade up to my face, right? right. So I love that this just helps remind you, hey, mm -hmm. you are doing your own barbering here, sir. You're taking a hot knife to your face. And I love the feel of this. Right. It just lets There's you explore that. Another, we have another aluminum, too. But they right. both are weighted a little different, which I yeah. like. Because right. depending on what I'm shaving legs or not... I I do actually find that I like the angle a little yeah, different. Architecture is so. very different, and depending on how many days of growth you've got, right? I'm sitting on two, you might yeah. want a different <laughs> angle, a different approach mm -hmm. from your razors. And so it may not just be Henson forever, and <laughs> right? we're all right we about right. that. But anyway, it's part of the mm -hmm. hobby, and We've it's We've enjoyed awesome. our another car. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Chris. This mm -hmm. has just been awesome. And what is our soap today? Our soap today is another from Sterling, which we got a little while back, but we're finally able to sneak it in. And I'm yes. so excited. And, you know, the other day, somebody asked us, how do you choose your soaps? Well, sometimes it's a book by its cover, the label. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's usually the set notes that we think are going to be right. particularly Maybe beguiling. Maybe somebody or suggested or one. Right, you know? or a collaboration with a friend mm -hmm. of ours. But we chose this one because Rod and Mandy specifically say on the sales page, keep away from pregnant women. Let's meet the soap! All right, y'all, so from the sales page at Sterling Soap Company. Our first original scent in quite some time. Varen was a project two years in the making. It was originally made for a Dutch wet shaving forum, so we gave it the name Varen, the Dutch word for fern. Okay. Or fougere. Maybe, Maybe yeah. Maybe, you know, okay. this natural fougere is a powerful blend of oak moss. No, oh, no, and we're no, not no. going to read it in there. But it does say, warning, warning. <laughs> do not use if you are pregnant or have epilepsy due to the oak moss content. Wow, I had no idea that was a thing. We have been reading oak moss on a ton of different songs, right, but I but had no idea that we were supposed to keep it away from pregnant women and stuff. Who knew? This is exciting. Let's open the box. <laughs> All right, y'all. So one of the most fun parts about being in the wet shaving hobby is checking your email every it's morning because you never know who's going to drop what. And this morning, we noticed it wasn't shaving soaps. It was bar, bar soaps, soaps from Sterling and Rod Manning were releasing about a ones. dozen yeah. new scents. And mm -hmm. some of them are single and double scent note soaps. And Ooh, and beautiful. not all of them have a matching shave soap, so we can no, get them all, right. which is and exciting. A lot of them are like more on the summer end of things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Your summer showers. Uh, so this is about the size box we get. It's true. Little, the smaller Although size. I think we're kind of dwindling down to our uh, last yeah, purchase don't here. Don't pay any attention to the wax melts or the bergamot lavender that we got coming, think, because think, this. There we go. This is the one we want. And you did a little research about the flag on this label. I thought yes. it was French, but I had it sideways. What it is Dutch, actually. So you know, now we can say we've gone another international traveling to a Dutch location. Far, so. I'm excited because we don't have any pregnant women sitting around, so let's no. go Dutch! <laughs> Do you want to go first? Kinda. You should! I'm excited about this. It's a fougere, y'all! Who knows? And a Dutch one. I have no idea. And what honestly, the we didn't is. even know what fougeres were right. until we got into this world, which is super fun because every artisan kind of takes it in their own way. Right. And so we, we recently like did the Dirt happens. Trio from Sterling where he right? just named them Dirt and right. F U Fougere originally just to kind of poke fun mm -hmm. at everybody that was doing fougeres back in the day. So right. And this took yeah. two years to come up with this the final set. Fougere Wars of 
2015? I, mean, <laughs> I have no idea. The history of this hobby. I'm I think you. I think you should go first. Let's, I, I'm uh, totally going to go let's first. See, I'm curious. I have no idea. The last few we've done have been a little bit like either like a weekend in Malibu sort of inspired right. scent or a lot of classic aftershave homages, mm-hmm. which we've been having a lot of which fun I with. Which I do so. find Fougeres are kind of fun to have all year. I think originally ah. we thought they'd be more like fall or green or something like that, but I do feel like they can kind of, I don't right. know. Let's maybe see what this Dutch smells like. Maybe a Dutch barbershop, maybe. I mean, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? I'm guessing right, a little go. greenish vibe, but that's all I got. Do you want to? <laughs> this is the uh, canine first, or pretty. <laughs> Clearly, we got a warning for oak moss, so I'm guessing that's in there. But other than that, you think Sarah's hard to read, DJ? <laughs> that's that's incredibly hard <laughs> to read. I have no idea if she likes she, this or not. She's all right. I better do it for her. Here. Okay. Oh, that was a quick whiff. Oh. <laughs> oh. Does it feel more like international oh. kind of vibe, or is it? You just, know, I don't know. I'm curious if that's what makes oh. this. A different type Yo, of things? Yo, there... Woo, okay, hold on. Y'all, this has two very different faces to ooh, it. And okay. I love that. The first one is a barbershop, and the second one is a more bracing, more dry, international sort of feel. Hey. Okay. Woo! So the, I, this is going to be half a barbershop, <laughs> but the other half, we got to oh. figure this out. Oh, it's super, super clean, y'all. It's got a little tiny hint of... Of a musk, and I think kind of maybe even a little bit of a vintage one. But here's the thing. A tiny bit. A tiny bit. Just to sort of ground things so you're not bringing in patchouli and things like that, I think, in the base notes. If if you had to go, like, dark to light, is it kind of like... Totally light and totally green without... Now, hold on a second. There's a green that is sort of like the leaf stem of the rose sort of green smell for me. And then there's a green smell that that is. It's more like the fern. And and having just done like a rainforest inspired so my nose has been a little bit more educated on the difference. And this, this is more of that fern and that beautiful whole first half of the whiff that I got was the fougere and the fern and that sort of green, the darker green not the oh. like the living green but the darker green like, but the overall like, scent is lighter right still. and then the whole second half opens up to sort of be a little bit of like an homage to a vintage 70s 60s aftershave okay. with a little bit of that musk in there but just yep. enough to bounce out and that might be how the oak moss is playing in here so beautifully does it take you to like a time of year? Like I know we were just saying that it could be on kind of any time. But... It's got a tangy twinge to it. So Dang. I'm going to be going like spring, but like trees pushing their way up ah, through the earth okay. kind of thing. Coming out of the shadows of fall and stuff. Wow. And you know, not woody. I mean, okay. it's got a little bit of a tree thing, but more about the leaves of the right, tree the than the wood parts. itself. This is more, this is more fern. Hundred okay. percent. And if this is a true oak moss, because yeah, I'm thinking right? the synthetic oak mosses wouldn't be that much of a threat to pregnant ladies. Yeah, apparently. Real oak moss probably would. This might be one of our first real oak mosses. Right, right. If and that's it the center really of it. has this way of like tingling your nose and a little bit of an effervescence kind of thing. Interesting. Ooh, oh. do I do I take a whiff? And here? you know, definitively male, I think I'm ah, gonna say. I uh, forgot to ask well, that. Well, this actually. could that's be enjoyed by more of your adventurous females. I think this is a more, more of that like, masculine hit. Yeah, like a little bit of that lighter, but a little smudginess to like it. Like almost towards the, you know, it. like how more of the act classic aftershaves had that vibe in there a little right. bit. A little yes. more of that vibe. And I, I think this does have just a little bit of All that right. kind of like Ted Lipidou kind okay. of like uh-huh. ness uh-huh. to it. All right, All see right. what you get. Well, let's see. To a trip we go. Oh, interesting. You're right. It does have that lighter powdery side, but I do get solid green notes for right. sure. It's definitely a fougere. It's two-sided to me. I get the lovely fern, and I don't even, you know, I don't even really get too much of a barbershop, because this does, on that side of it, put me way outside. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. in a beautiful avatar, sort of there's Jurassic an, Park, like, ferny sort there's of There's an area, interesting right? kind of drier side to this. Ooh. I feel like once we lather, yeah. that could change, but I think that's what you were getting more, the drier, yep. powdery, yep. I don't want to say talky, but there is something that's, yes. you know, almost like when you see oak moss on trees, it's kind of drier yeah. on the outside, that maybe it's more that, at least... I'm getting the drier kind of notes, yeah. the crisper side of it. And and the other side's got a little bit of that, like, 70s musk. Yeah, to I'm me, with that kind of keeps it a little bit of a bossy smell on the under, undercarriage but it's, of it. It's you still know what I mean? clean. Right. It's absolutely. Still clean. I, it's whites and greens that I get. Y'all, you have to dig. You have to keep going. Mm-hmm. And if we were going to get my metronome out, it's <laughs> probably go. beat number three or four. I'd that agree. That you get the mm-hmm. lovely darks, right, that those start to move in. This starts a light fur. This is Jurassic Park. 
There you go. <laughs> this starts by dropping you off where it's beautiful and there's ferns and mm-hmm. there's water and lovely and you're like, oh, I could spend a week here. Then as you keep smelling, the raptors right. start then coming on theory. either side of you and you're like, wait a minute, this is getting a little dark and mysterious. But it's, you're right, there's no part of this that's like a, a dark, heavy scent. No, It no. stays light and clean. No. But it's it's kept in balance. I feel yeah. like there is, if you were to smell that other side alone, it'd be sort of super dark right. and bossy, but with just the right touch mm-hmm. of it to balance out the ferns and those greens. Lovely. And for me, not a crazy sweet. So if that does help, the sweets here are through the fernness yeah. of it. There's not like a sweeter, like no. floral note here at all. I get much more like dry, crisp, clean. Yeah, if I had right. to pick like three. Oh, herby, right? Yeah, I feel like there's a lot more complex things going on here, but yeah. my brain is just trying to feel like, how can I categorize this? So it's getting a little of that kind of greener side right. and then that powdery clean side. And I do, I do agree with the masculine hit here, but it's not so overwhelmingly masculine. Like right. back in the day, if somebody were to walk in the room, I'd be like, whoo, what are they? You know, like it's not that type, right. but I do get like a, just a nice, gentle, masculine oh, yeah. hit from 100%. it. You could wear this all day. I don't think you get tired of it. No. You know, it, it's a very clean scent. Like, yep. you could be dressed up, and you could just be in, like, a sweater. Right. It doesn't have to be, you know, like, a set time of day and, or location. You know, and a lot of the guys that I know, they like a cologne that doesn't have an overwhelmingly sweet side mm-hmm. to it that is a little bit more bracing, a little bit more natural. Now, this does have a natural sweet, but how are yeah. you interpreting it? So there's something knowing that this is an original scent from them. Right. My brain would want to put it in more of the classic aftershave homage-ish right. kind of zone. But there is something more current about it. Yeah. That doesn't make it seem so old. Right. So smell this knowing it's an original scent. And see if that kind of helps you answer your question. It's the you know, original whip. The original it. Sterling with it. Is that different? Like, there's something that makes it uh, more fresh and new about it, even though it could be that classic after homage kind of deal. A hint of smoke. Yeah, actually, I would agree. Oh, Derek, that's the drier side. Right, there's that's something... like a little bit of the darker, the shadowy side of it. it. It's a lovely glimpse from shifting from winter to spring, like Ooh. that transition in the air. There's something about that. See, that's why she's here, folks. This starts you off with that bluer, whiter, wintry mm-hmm. sort of feel, a little colder. Yeah. Right? And then that's when it opens the door mm-hmm. and gives you those browns and greens. And, you know, the soap, it's, is it me? Oh, I, am, I, am I a little crazy or is there a green Tint. There might be actually. I, mean, I gotta look, say, yeah, there's a little bit of a green tint to this. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'll go grab sharp dress to compare, mm-hmm. but I am yeah. pretty sure. No, I wouldn't be surprised. But the other thing too is like you know when you walk into something like in the forest where there's a lot of shade, yeah, right? There's a different smell in the shade right. than if it was just like a few trees and sun everywhere. Yep. Like, and I get that here. Like the the shadows are in there somehow. And whatever it is that's supporting the fern is doing it so beautifully. Because right. think about it, you know what a fern smells like, mm-hmm. but it's 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 softer, right? right? It's not a real intense smell. It's mm-hmm. a lovely supporting smell. Well, they have hired a cast yeah. characters in here, y'all, that yeah, allows the fern different. to just take center stage and start singing a song. Do we and dare lather it and see if those friends speak Ooh! a little more before we give in? Tell you what, I'm going to start the lather and you start the set notes. This is our HCNC 22 gauge steel lather bowl. It's our no nonsense mm-hmm. lather bowl. That's our nickname for it. <laughs> okay, y'all, I'm going to put my the flag water in bringing this. some life in there. This is like oak moss forward. That's yeah, that what I sense. love about this. But that like, might be where there is a warning because wow. that's the, how they yes, wanted to because, push and the And I think scent. that's what makes it a little bit green. I, like mm-hmm. that's, I put my flag in that. But yeah. I've always sensed this as just so something like that's bringing two scents together and helping them click. Right. But I've never be the star. sensed it as yeah. like the star. And mm-hmm. this is awesome. This it's is very our refreshing. 24 millimeter sterling uh, brush. Oh, refreshing is a great word Now that for there's it. water on it right. too, like something's very, like it's it's blossoming, yep. blooming through the ferns, you and know? y'all think about refreshing without there being a sweet note to it. That's some talent. That's some amazing natural stuff going on in here. So my grandma's house in uh, <laughs> my grandma's house downstairs, it was like a higher house so you could see the view of the bay. Gorgeous right. view. But the backyard was really shaded by some redwoods. Oh. And there were some ferns that were out there that she had. Right. And my sister and I used to grab them all the time because they just felt so soft to play with and touch. Yes. And I don't think I've smelt that type of oak moss in a really long time. Right. Uh, that with the fern are like really best friends 
yep. here. And y'all camping in the California Redwoods. Yes, mm-hmm. the Redwoods go up 300 feet, but there's a giant floor of ferns yeah. that exist at they the bottom of the floor. They just go together well. And, oh, this and you can just... smell that somehow. Not the woody yeah. side, but the greenery of it and the shadows. There's something about that that really comes through. <sighs> Don't you think? Y'all, the way that like Oud being an immune response is just like one of the most beautiful scents known to man. This moss is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, okay let me take a whip before we go to scent notes because I'm very curious to see. Hmm. You're not pregnant, are you? No. Okay, no, 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 no love. Actually, it's much more real here. Much more real. The, I am standing in the plants mm, right yes, here. That's why I said that. That's real. Beautiful. Wow. Okay, so okay. that being said. This fougere is a powerful blend of... Oak moss. Got it. Mm-hmm. You can smell it right after it got wet there. Oh, my goodness. And then... Look, look. Oh, lavender. Oh. This makes so much sense. That was the crisp... Oh. You even said like a barbershop earlier. Wow. That must have been where you were going. That's beautiful. And wow. then coramin vetiver. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's funny. I don't even hardly get the vetiver underneath the oak moss. No, it, it blends like it just disguises the greenery. Go, oh. It just disappears. Oh, and look at that Sage. next one. That's what makes it crisp and clean. Beautiful. It's a fresh yes, sage. Right. Cedar. Mm-hmm. And then. Lichen. Ooh. Lichen. We haven't had that in a very long time. And Marcus was wrong. There's a floral in here. Ah, yeah. Geranium. Beautiful. But Beautiful. just keeps it clean. You said something white yes. and bright. And, and I think that's what it was. It's not sweet. Like, I'm not no. sensing that as a sweet floral. It's just there to sort of keep the oak moss in check I a little clean, bit. I like think clean. Like to shine some light on the greenery a little bit. You know? Oh, but you know what? Between the lavender and the geranium, if you do look for a sense of them, you do get they, yes. I would now agree. that I read that you can sense a little bit of flower. And you were you. saying earlier too that there wasn't as much of a sweet, or we didn't know how that right. was happening. Something right. in those are just that, as yes. sweet enough. Absolutely. It's not gourmandy sweet, nothing like that. But it's just enough to keep it that clean, a little sweeter kind right. of hit to it. Ooh. It just keeps it from getting too dark. Coramin, cedar, lich. Yeah, and then those are the only florals in here. Do we say that this is a distant cousin to Hollows by Barrister and Man, or do we just straight up go deeper? Is this like actual oak moss? Is that what this is? Like right? if we go find an oak tree and there's really moss on it, is that what this is? That's what I was thinking because that my same grandma's backyard, I, I was remember there's fern in her backyard right. and there was redwoods and then there was trees that had oak we'll moss around it. Ask the whiff pack, but like, like right. Is I, that what that is? I feel like I want to go find a tree that has some oak moss on it and be like, hold on, right. I need to just smell you real quick. Oh, and I <laughs> love that this is doing all of the work of patchouli without patchouli, without no, tobacco, none. without mm-hmm. any of the things that are normally in there to give it that brown. Right. Sort so of if you're a fan, it. if you're not a fan of those types of more masculine hints right. of a scent, if you vibe more towards the vetivery greens fougeres, this is a very different fougere. I have to admit, wow, it doesn't smell like some of the other like at least lanes of fougere that no. we've had so far. This for sure puts you outside like this is jurassic that park or, this Oak is forward. avatar <laughs> right this yeah. is that total it's and, a green it's just straight yeah. up green and you know it's probably like a richard attenborough who would wear this like probably a naturalist or somebody oh, like yeah, that actually. would smell like this a jane goodall and there's that there is, is something um almost like carefree and adventurous about it like i feel like if you had you know if you were someone to go spend time off grid and you enjoyed being in a cabin in the woods without cell service or you like you know you found right. your solace just like a Escaping the world yeah. for a little bit. If you're going to go write Walden, this is what you'll smell right. like, right? It's I, I probably like... not going to be a peach, right? No. It's probably going to be this. You have been nowhere industrial in a very long time. You're just no. enjoying being off grid and like letting your soul take that in. And, there is something calming about yeah. this. Yeah, and if there is such a thing as an intellectual smell, yeah. this is it. Just because right? of how clever it is and just how it does the work of so many things without your stereotypical sweets, without your stereotypical yep. patchoulis, without all of those things, mm-hmm. and totally rebuilds a scent that you're sort of familiar with in a Brand new and way. If, I feel like if you almost were trying to smell this as a single scent note, that oh. they are so well blended, yes. it could almost be yes. considered that. Right. If you love your oak moss and you need something a little bit mm-hmm. forward in that, these others don't get in its way. I'm really I, glad I, no, you but they that. all they interlace super well, right. and especially in the lather, like it, they all just surround it enough that the oak moss is like still the star of the scent. Right. Now here's something I don't say all that often. I don't think I'm going to run and get the splash. In oh, fact, interesting. For some I was reason, ask. it didn't hit me to get it originally. originally right not all that often that i want something that does smell like a soap but i don't really want to carry it with me all day mm-hmm. isn't that an interesting thought it Do is you ever have something where you'd love it like to shave with but right. you don't want to carry it with you in an after well i do but i actually was thinking in regards to this one because it does have a strong fougere side to it and it right. is we were talking about at the beginning it could 
almost be a classic aftershave homage ish. Right. Like I feel like this is a great soap to shave with if you know you're gonna put an EDP or something on after that ah, I don't think it would conflict. Yeah. Right. It kind of has like a building block vibe to it. Like this is a good ah. base. Single yes. kind of scent vibe, right. and even though it's not, but it does have that energy right. that Absolutely. you could add a different kind of fougere ish splash or even some other things, and it wouldn't, I don't think, conflict. Like right. it does just smell like you've been outside. Right, and some scent notes are amazing in that way. In fact, there's one that we've covered that just smells like human person that smells right. like your skin yeah, what is and it's sort of just meant to help bring other things together mm -hmm. so yo if oak moss is ubiquitous in all the barbershops is helping to bring things together mm -hmm. what if this was your foundational scent right and then you could layer some good vibes mm -hmm. or something on top right. of like, this i don't feel like it would get mad at whatever you put on top of right. it like, there's something even think of oak moss outside it doesn't Guys. take over the whole area Guys. it just kind of is around the trees right. you know it's a, it is kind of like a base player if that could make sense at all Bum, 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 there you go. <laughs> yeah, abs no, absolutely. And that's, that is exactly where I would wear this. Right. In fact, one of my favorite outshapes is Good Vibrations. It does have oak moss in it. Oh, that see? would be really cool. That so could just be a fun together, little throw right? together. But, and I gotta say, here it's still brighter. I'm more almost springtime here than I was off the puck. Like I was getting more of the wintry side here. Right. right. And there is something there that's yeah, just much this brighter is a great and ready for the day. Winter to spring smell. It does have that Like something thing. that blossoms in spring. Like yeah. it's just, it's Getting you it just ready. It starts to go. cool and then brings you into the green. Mm -hmm. You know, just in a beautiful way. I, I'm really glad you did get it though. I do feel like it has a place in our den. It's not like we have a faux chair that's like this at all yet. No, not at all. And to get to know Oak Moss in a new way. Right. So it's pretty simple, y'all. The next time your fourth grade teacher hands you the scholastic book club order form, uh -huh. why? <laughs> you're gonna take it home, you're gonna pour over it with your mom, Check and you're gonna off. pick out a little novel about a red fern. And boy, when it arrives, you're gonna fall in love a with its main book. characters. You're gonna fall in love with the two dogs that are a giant part of the story because you love dogs already and by the time you get to the end and you can't even go outside anymore because you're crying too hard you just got your own head over to sterlingsoap.com where you can find this and a wide range of other products And my shave, y'all, with Varen. And you know, when I was in the fifth grade, I did a science fair experiment. And it was a survey to ask everybody what their tastes were when it came to their favorite foods and their favorite things to drink. And I noticed patterns that as people got older, they preferred things that were a little more savory to things that were a little more sweet. And I think, I think the wet shaver goes through a similar journey. Once you have discovered all the beautiful, sweet, and gourmands that there are to meet you at the door, you have things like this. The hot and sour soups of the shaving world where it's more of a savory, more of an acquired, more of a mature taste. But once you've acquired that taste, boy, it hits the spot like nothing else can. And as far as the sterling lather goes, y'all, if this were twice the price, it would be worth it. It is a phenomenal shave. And every time I get to shave with a sterling lather, I just have more fun exploring the boundaries of what it can do when it has yet to disappoint me. Thanks, Rodman. <laughs> Welcome to Messages! So clearly, we are enjoying our time with all these fun sterling soaps. So we had a meeting, and we decided that we want to have a giveaway for a sterling $20 gift card for you! Oh, all you have to do to qualify is send an email here to we sent you at thebarbershopduet.com and be one of our subscribers. Yeah. And check back on June 1st when we draw our name on the show mm -hmm. to see if you are the lucky winner and best, best of luck, luck y'all. Sometimes... I love that we love everything. <laughs> but y'all know, because part of that means right. if I'm ever going to get like an oak moss forward soap, mm -hmm. where back in the old days, if I had no idea what I was smelling or I had yep. no idea what it was for, I might just go, meh. Do I need that? Yeah. But hold on. Mm -hmm. These invite us to open them, read the set notes, and discover the beauty that lies within them. Mm -hmm. Because there are going to be some folks out there like Rod and Mandy who are giant fans of oak moss and right. who are going to absolutely love this. And I love discovering these through your eyes mm -hmm. and finding what's beautiful about these set notes and how they've crafted them. And having that Dutch influence is kind of cool too. Like it really right. does feel like you travel to somewhere new. Like right. now I want to go there and see like is oak moss raving around? I don't know. Right. So it's 
kind of cool. Trying new foods in different mm-hmm. restaurants or in different parts of the world, right? You're never exactly sure what you're going to get. Just broadening your palate, you but know. But I love that this show has brought us the right glasses to put on. So right? that when we do open a soap that is a little bit, hey, by the way, keep this away from pregnant women. Mm-hmm. Right. We can have a path to finding the beauty of these scent notes and right. how they're brought together. And, and really getting to know this scent in a new way. I'm really glad that you did get this. I know when we were looking at the list, whenever that email came out, and we're like, we can't decide. So maybe we just have to get them all. And then we'll decide splashes later. Right. So I'm kind of glad we went for it. And we get to know, kind of Sterling picked these out for us. Like, now I know why. We needed to have a little Oak Moss fun. Y'all, I will never be brave enough to discover adventurous foods. There's no way I'm ever going to eat an escargot, no matter how much I'm sure I will love it. But y'all, when I see a set note on a shaving soap that says, keep away from pregnant women, for some reason, I'm like, That's bring it on! on. Yeah. That's going to be We're amazing! And they always are. Thank you, Rod and Mandy, for taking us to these outrageous places and bringing us back again on home. Yeah, we have thoroughly enjoyed this. I can't wait for the next thing to open from Sterling. Don't forget, your next appointment with the Barbershop Duet. Ooh, you'll smell pretty. Just watch it. Now.